Hello everyone, so today I'm gonna just add a couple more from uh, last time I uploaded um, Just a couple more picture from the 35mm uh, EF 1.4 So let's get started And this one I'm gonna just add some first of all um, Make it into Canon V2 You can see that it might be too yellow I'm gonna increase the uh, so this is uh, just documenting my editing process reduce the vignetting so that it has nice <coughs> focus on the center um, I'm gonna remove some yellow and make it into more um, golden color and then increase the highlight uh, the exposure a little bit more just increase a little bit more and you can see that the line is not perpendicular to the ground so I'm gonna adjust the level a little bit adjust the level like this and then increase the shadow a little bit and for the ground I'm gonna clean up the ground a little bit right here okay so Okay, let's clean up a little bit. So overall, I'm gonna increase the uh, shadow from the face, front facing. Just add more light in front right here. Just a little bit more. Okay, increase the light. Okay, so add more contrast so before and after and I'm gonna just smooth it a little here using portraiture 3 so I'm trying to edit a little bit quicker than the last time that I edited and since this is just the part 2 of the um, recording just what was left off from last time so I use a portraiture 3 and then just uh, do a quick update on the skin and let me see this one okay the expression is okay let me see Landscape center. So I'm gonna crop four by five in this one, and clean up the ground a little bit. And because this has a lot stronger backlight. I'm just gonna um, smooth it using the soft skin. Like that. And then that's it. So, another quick one. So, this one I posted some in my Instagram before. And. I'm just clean up the ground first, just to make it the overall image cleaner. So, when I first started photography, I didn't uh, notice a lot of these small details thing. Now I want to make it uh, cleaner on the ground so that it's more concentrated on the body. Um, of the portrait so slightly adjust what I'm looking at is this parallel to this grid right here so make sure it is perpendicular to the ground and let me see I wanna smooth out a little bit here and this one I'm gonna smooth the skin 
slightly right here. Okay. Increase the higher save exposure, just uh, almost the same. Reduce the highlight. Oh, it's still Adobe color. I'm changing to this one. Canon color. And You can see the Canon standard color is much stronger on the red and I'm gonna do a little bit of shadow right here in front not too much maybe reduce to 14 okay what happened if I adjust the warmness Let me undo that and then I will leave, leave the same standard right here and reduce the crop a little bit more yellow and the blue slightly change up on the blue yep this is pretty good to me I'm gonna do a quick Portraiture 3, edit. Okay, and then select the skin that I want to do the mask on and then overlay on top of that. Once it finish, I do the command shift E, export to the folder. So let me see what else here. Okay, this one. So let me clean up. My first step usually just clean up the background first. I don't like these dots right here. Just make sure it's nice and cleaner. And this one also. So it's more smooth uh, overall image right here. And then let me change to standard profile, Canon standard profile. Let's see, reduce the yellow, reduce the blue a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is add more shadow in front right here just add more shadow in the front facing okay and what i'm gonna do is smooth out the eyes slightly in here See how this one and maybe I'll add a little bit more shadow slightly right like here. So that it's lighter. I'm gonna do overall shadow slightly a little bit more. Maybe just subtle. Maybe 10. Okay. Okay, overall reduce the exposure. Vignetting, I'm gonna do the vignetting right here. Just a small amount of vignetting. 4x5 Instagram crop, leave the IMAX on top, have more headroom. When you adjust this, I'm looking at this line right here and against the grid so that it is parallel nicely. And at the same time, I'm looking at this small thumbnail 
just to see what was the cropping uh, ratio in here so I can see that I can still have some leather and the red on top to against the blue it create a nice contrast here and slightly a little bit more shadow but not too obvious maybe just four a little bit here okay so that's it that's it uh, for this image I'm gonna do image portraiture 3 So once it finished, I'm gonna export export to my folder. And this one, let me see what's the difference. <clears throat> the bokeh is different on top, just slightly more bokeh uh, here. So what I'm gonna do, let me do uh, enable distortion slightly. Here, adjust. I'm the original size in right here. Just clean up a little bit on the face uh, area and. The soft skin in here because this one has a little bit close up. I'm gonna clean up a little bit more detail on the yeah, more detail. First, I'm gonna smooth the skin. Soften up a little bit So there's a little bit more darker area. Okay, so I leave some more here and then increase the shadow. In the front facing area, increase the shadow one more time. That was just four. I'm going to increase a lot more in here. Reduce the highlight, increase the shadow more, double check, oh this is Adobe color, Let me go back here, Canon color, it's a lot stronger for the Canon color this one, I'm gonna reduce the yellow And 
the blue There's some minor detail on the side Okay, maybe slightly more Increase the contrast. Okay, this looks good. Overall color. So once it's safe. If you pull up the portraiture 3 again, by default it highlighted the face. So I'm gonna select the skin color. So that's it. Um, so I will have more uh, photo coming up. So and my Instagram is uh, almost uh, eighteen point six, uh, eight point seven thousand photos. Uh, stay tuned for more photo in my Instagram coming up. And um, thanks for watching this video. Bye.